What's up guys, it's your boy Tulo out here. Oh. So on this video, we're gonna talk about the truck, about what it's like driving on the drop truck, how low it is, um, what I plan on doing to it, you know, little, little, little stuff like that. So it's a 610 drop on 22s, uh, 265, 30, 22. You got a Denali front end. Pretty much all he needs is just the color match, but everybody, everybody who got single cars, they color match their, their truck and I'm just trying to be a little different and keep it chrome, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to see how that goes out in the process. I mean, you got the grill, the skid plate, tow hooks, the the headlights, the Nolly headlights. It even got the tail lights too. See, look, this is how low it sits. And it's on a 610 drop. This is how low it sits. You can barely put your hand in here. Barely. So yeah, got the tubs. Tail lights. Um, got a flat. I mean, a spare. Cause you know, you don't know how these Houston roads be. They be on that wild shit. As far as the door panels, uh, before I had the plastic ones, the, the the hard top. They had it right here, right here, and this part was gray. It didn't have the the wood trim. And uh, yeah, it looked nasty to me. So I was like, you know what? I gotta go find another single cab and. You know, do my thing, find some black panels. So that's what I did. And yeah, thank God. And as for interior, I mean, I got my seats done. Got the center console as well. Try to keep it clean with the new fresh scent. And I got the Denali, Denali front end, Denali dash, leather trim, everything. Switches, they don't work, but we ain't gonna talk about that. I got the radio. It's a it's an Alpine radio. Got the switches, console. Yeah. As far as drivability, yeah, you can turn the wheel all the way. You don't rub. At first, at first when you get the job, you will. But you know, over time, it starts cutting the carpet and all that. So we ain't gotta worry about the thing later on. I mean, it scrapes and all. Yeah, but pretty much you don't scrape no more because what used to scrape already scraped off. But look, where are we See, that's how low it sits from the ground. That's like a good a quarter, inch and a quarter, two inches. An inch and a half, let's say. Off the ground. And so pretty much, I mean, yeah, it rides smooth. It rides real smooth, honestly. But just, you know, Houston, Houston roads, they don't give you that, they don't give you that smooth. So you gotta go. You gonna have to go low, and um, but yeah, it's drivable. See, now I have to go inside because it was getting a little too hot outside. But but yeah, so but yeah, I recommend getting a 610 on 22s. I mean, if you can handle the low life, you can handle the low life. But low pros, low pros ain't for everybody. I'm telling you, cause I'll be going through low pros like every. I'll be buying a low pro every once a month let's say just because there's a, a random pothole on the random road that, that i've never been on so i mean it's all fun and games but you got to pay to play so pretty much what i want to do for the rest of the truck i mean ain't really much nothing to it that i can do i mean i could put 28s well i want to i want to put 28s on a nine Damn, that's hot. On, on a 916 drop. And so it's gonna be stupid low. It's gonna be lower than what it is right now, honestly. And um yeah, I just I just gotta do my front tubs. Redo my back tubs because the shop that I took it to, I regret taking it to them, honestly. I ain't gonna say no names, but just look. See like it's all like all these scratches, I mean they left it like that and and then the tub, I mean the seam sealer, you know, all around, it's not, it's not, it's not all smooth. I mean, I know it's bedliner and all that, but I mean, at least try and make it smooth, you know, even on this side. And plus, it's not even high enough for for the 28s. I mean, I mean, with the drop that I'm going with, it's not, it's not high enough. You can see the light straight through, so it's not fully welded. And that's the bad part. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get it done redone at another shop and all well, the shop i'm gonna take it to to reckless and and get it done right you know man i can't get over these seats 
clean, stupid clean. They got my little show stickers. I've been going to shows here and there. Pretty much all I'm going for shows for is just to, you know, line them up on my, my little windshield. Make the hole look pretty. Add a little decoration. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, other than that, I just gotta put 28, cut the rear end, redo my toes, front toes, relocation, firewall. And that's pretty much it for this truck, honestly. I don't wanna keep, I don't wanna do all that crazy stuff. I mean, if I do something crazy, it'll probably just be like a little pinstriping. You know, a little colorful color, rainbow colors, whatever. So yeah, if y'all liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Write down in the comments what y'all want to see in the next videos. Give me some ideas, you know, because I can't think of shit. So, yeah. So be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.